talking about Nicole. Mm -hmm. um, you're saying you keep, you keep in touch with her, still yeah, in touch, yeah. talking every day. What are you talking about every day? Um, well, music mainly. Mainly we talk about music. Um, she's working on music of hers, now I'm working on music of mine, so we're kind of just sharing stuff really and then giving each other verdicts on, on each other's music. And um, obviously we've discussed X Factor a little bit because she's got a really strong category this year. Um, you know, she asks my opinion on certain things, so I, you know, I give her it. Who are you tipping for the win? Um, I, I think it's definitely someone from the girls' category. I think she's got the strongest category, so I would go ahead and say um, either Hannah or Tamara. Yeah, because, um, you know, they've all got great... In that category, they've all got great voices. You've got Abby, who's like... Um, uh, like Lisa Loeb style, like she's um, an authentic-sounding singer. You know, not technically, like not a powerhouse soul singer, um, but she can touch you in her own way. You know, she can really connect with, with, with the listener, I think. Um, and I would love to buy her album. Uh, and then you've got the other two girls who are really soulful, and um, you know, Tamira's got that modern R&B type voice, and uh, Hannah's like an old uh, belter, like a gospel singer. So it's, it's really interesting to listen to. Yeah, no, Hannah's so, so soulful. Mm. We would say, however, that I don't know if we have enough rainforests mm. for the number of tissues we're going to need Yeah. for all the crying. Do you remember it being that emotional ever before? There were so many tears over Yeah. The oh, you know what? It's mad that, like, so many people have said to me, is it, is it me or is there more, more crying this year? And um, I must admit, there, there does seem to be a lot of tears. It's, it's an emotional thing. Um, I didn't you know, cry myself because I'm mad, but uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of crying going on. I think it's, I think it's just getting to people, isn't it? When was the last time you cried? Um, I don't cry. Never. Actually. Never cry. All right, no, I, I almost cried yesterday, actually, because um, I saw my song, I saw the backing track of uh, You're Nobody Till Somebody Loves You on Super Sunday, the football thing, which is like a dream of mine. So I was like, God, oh, that's really nice. Just talking a little bit about Nicole Scherzinger again, mm -hmm. um, is there a dubstep track in the mix? Is this, is this true? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, we've made, we've been making it, we've been writing it, so it's whether or not it surfaces. A lot of songs get written, just you know, the ones that surface and, and become singles or album tracks. But I'd, I think this, there's a particular song that's a dubstep feel that, um, would be a hit if it was released. You said in an interview that there's no boundaries when you're talking to Nicole Scherzinger. Mm -hmm. What is the most surprising thing that you know about her? Um, the most surprising thing I know about Nicole Scherzinger. Um, oh yeah, she's one of them people who can, um, you know those people, I reckon you're probably one of them as well. One of those people who has an amazing body, but eats anything they want and just don't put it on. Like, she can probably eat three McDonald's in a day and still look like Nicole Scherzinger. From the expector, what advice could you give to contestants this year? Um, do you know what I, I would say to the contestants? Um, it's an old cliche, but you have to believe in, in your product. Uh, you have to believe in, in um, the set of skills that you've been given. Because, you know, if you're, if you're at judges' houses, or sorry, if you're at the live shows, um, then you better believe you've got a talent, you've got an ability. So believe in that, keep trying to evolve it, and don't listen to too many opinions. Like, so many opinions are thrown at you when you're on that show. What you have to do is you have to take a couple of those opinions on board, that, you know, the ones that really resonate with you, and then throw the rest away and forget about them, because they'll niggle you in your head and um, it can affect your performance. I've seen it before. And the, you know, the reason that I um, got great comments every week is because I just threw everything I had at the performances. And um, that's really what, I mean, that's my advice. That's what I would say you have to do. That's where my success came from, for sure. Talking about the comments that people are giving, um, obviously you did a cover of Wrecking Ball. Mm -hmm. I hasten to add it was better than the original. Uh, I do feel. Um, Miley Cyrus gets a lot of, 
feedback, I'll say, whether negative mm. or positive. I mean, obviously, it's overwhelmingly negative. Mm. What do you make of the press about her? I'm not really, I'm not really interested in, in Miley Cyrus's personal life as, as such. I'm more interested in who she is an art, as an artist and how she expresses, expresses herself. And um, I think Wrecking Ball is a great song. I think her first song was a great song. So, you know, I'm judging her off, off you know, as an artist. And the both, uh, you know, the two songs she's brought out have been really good. Um, whether you like her swinging about on a wrecking ball naked, it, it's, it's up to you. It's whatever your bag is. Um, I personally think she looks great, so why not flaunt it?